your latest CD, Maturity? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the concept behind that. Uh, the concept behind Maturity was really just um, a rites of passage as a CD. And I mean that for like a lot of like local artists, I see a lot of people that are like just really okay with being mediocre. And that was kind of my way of saying, let's take a step beyond mediocre, beating mediocrity, I'm sorry, and let's be great. So it's just really just a message for other people, like be great, don't, don't settle for mediocrity. Cool, cool. Uh, one thing that I really admire about your lyrics is that um, you know you uh, you share a lot of yourself in there, yeah. and you know you talk about some pretty controversial stuff. What do you think some of your most bravest lyrics, or maybe your most brave song? Uh, my like? bravest song, in my opinion, would have to be the key, which just talks about being like a dark-skinned black man and just all the things that come along with that. Um, that one was really emotional. That one was really close to my heart because it, it, you go you go through a lot growing up. Um, you know, with your skin complexion like mine and like my other brothers, like Stealth and everybody. So like to be able to tap into that, it was really vulnerable for me and it kind of hurt to put that record out, but it's okay though, because I know a lot of people felt it and people come back to me feeling it. So I'd say that's probably the one. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Uh, DJ Stealth. Yes. Where do you get your influence for your beats? Like, where do you hear those? And Pick well, it up and integrate. Well, my, my influence in general is jazz. I started life as a jazz musician, trumpet player, and I played several instruments. And I used that same approach to jazz music to turntables. Cool. Yeah. Any questions from the audience? No? They're like, uh, we just want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> one more then. Can you all tell yeah. me about your uh, non musical influences? Ooh, non-musical influences. Non -musical influences. Like my friend Corey Payne's really dope with art, and I love the stuff that he does. He actually produced my uh, with the camp. Oh, it's, oh, this is a different. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, this is my uh, oh, yeah, CD cover, uh, like album artwork, and he created that. And he's like a really amazing painter. So like just seeing him do things like always inspires me. And then um, my girlfriend's dance company, the leader of it, his name is Arian Wilkerson. He's always doing stuff that inspires me. And then shouts to Hartford Proud and Hartford. They're always doing things that inspire me. Uh, Studio 860 is always doing great things, and um, yeah, I just, I just, I just, I love this Hartford, and I'm glad to be here in Massachusetts, man. I've, I've got some good inspiration out here. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Me, my non-musical influences would be dance and theater. I, uh, outside of being a musician, I do a lot of work as a musician in dance and theater, and I, I, that that inspires me to put that kind of that that, that, that focus that they have in the theater world mm. into the music. Awesome. Facts.